Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today's video is sponsored by Hot Topic. Hot Topic is a perfect place to shop for all pop culture lovers and music enthusiasts. And it's the best place to find all the biggest trends in pop culture and fashion. Hot Topic is your one-stop shop for any occasion, whether it's for yourself or others. My girlfriend and me have been shopping at Hot Topic for years and uh, we can't go to the mall without going there first. You can either buy in store or shop online at www.hottopic.com. Or you can just do both. Buy online and pick it up in store. So today I'm gonna be trying clothing life hacks and other DIYs using items that Hot Topic sent me. Are you guys ready to see what the first item is? So the first item on the list is Arctic Fox hair dye. And today we got it in virgin pink and Poseidon. I've actually been using Arctic Fox hair dye, particularly these colors, for years. So when Hot Topic said, hey, pick anything you want, I was like, yeah, I'll do hair dye. So I'm actually going to be split dyeing my hair today. Half's gonna be blue and half is gonna be pink instead of uh, all pink. So I actually have to uh, re-bleach my roots because they're getting kind of long. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bleach and tone my roots and when I say I'm gonna do it, I really mean my girlfriend's gonna help me do it because I'm not very good at this stuff. <laughs> okay, so uh, Tori ended up doing the whole left side of my head and the roots to my right side. We already have a little pink, so we don't really need to uh, you know, do the whole thing. It's time for me to go rinse this out. So this is how it's turning out. I actually used toner shampoo in the shower and it was very effective, like extremely effective. Look how white my hair is. But my roots are still a little bit dark, so we're gonna re-bleach and tone those because we want to get a very consistent white. We just want a very blank slate. The whiter your hair is, the better the color stays in and the more vibrant it'll be. So that's what we're going for. I'll be right back. Oh, okay guys, and now my hair is perfectly white. A perfect blank slate, an empty canvas if you will. So now it's time to actually add the dye. But first we need to mix it with uh, this stuff. This is called diluter. That way we get the perfect color. So here's our little mixing bowl and we're gonna start off with this blue Poseidon dye. Boop, boop, boop. Add a little bit of our diluter. Mix, mix, mix. And then we keep adding it until we get the perfect color. I want it to be the same color as my blue bean. Ooh. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and split my hair in half. I'm gonna need two combs, preferably the same color. I mean, it really doesn't matter but I'm just using the same color. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and hair tie the pink side up. So that's all pulled aside. Looking pretty good. So now I guess it's uh, time to dye my hair. So I think actually the best way to do this is to hold it like this and start from the bottom and go up. That way I'm not pushing all the already dyed hair uh, to the other side. I'll just let it fall down. And this is gonna be really hard if I don't have a mirror. I'm gonna go get a mirror. Oh, this simplifies my life so much. Why don't I just have a mirror here all the time? Yeah, this is the first time I'm split dyeing my hair by myself. Tori Dupransky usually does it for me. This side of my head is gonna match my blue car. <laughs> It's the exact same color blue. Oh my. I hope I'm really just getting it all in there. And I'm gonna take that down and do my next section of roots. Oh my gosh. My ear is already so itchy. And you basically just kinda repeat that until you're done. I should really be using gloves for this. Oh my gosh. I don't even think that this is even. I already messed up. Oh, I don't even know how I'm gonna get the back. Oh, wait, second mirror. Oh. Gosh, I don't know what's going on back there. Oh my gosh. I might need some help with this. I have professional hair dyeist Tori Dobransky here to help me. Ooh. Tori Dobransky usually dyes my hair and I thought I could do it myself this time, but I just got so nervous. We just spent all day making my hair white. I just don't want to mess this up, okay? I've inhaled a lot of bleach. Was I on the right track? I already tried yeah. to do that. How off is the back? Not too bad. You only missed like one little bit. You were doing pretty good. I just had to believe a little bit more. Thanks for helping me dye my hair Tori Dobransky. No problem. Tori Dobransk is saving the day. She's saving the day. Tori Dobransk, she's saving the day. Okay guys, first side is a success. Now I'm gonna try and do the right side. So now we're gonna go ahead and mix the pink the exact same way that we mixed the blue. Ooh, see the color right now? And now we have a color very similar to my shirt. Beautiful. Okay guys, now I'm gonna attempt to do this side without the help of Tori Dobransky. If I feel like I can't do it, I'm probably gonna end up just calling her and asking her for help. Get it really right up into my roots. Next layer. Oh my gosh, or the whole thing. Now I'm just gonna take a big old clump, shove it right in my hair. Really mix up that pink into my hair really good because I definitely did not get all my roots. Okay guys, uh, my hair looks thoroughly pink and blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in my hair for about two hours. Then I'm gonna rinse it out and show you guys how it turned out. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Woo! 
And this is how it turned out. Wow, I'm actually really happy with this. Look at that. We got blue, and we flip it over, and we got pink. We got just a little hint of pink popping out of the side of my head. I absolutely love it. I really miss the split dye hair, and uh, I think that this turned out fantastic. The pink and blue are both so vibrant. And the best part is there's no peroxide, no ammonia, no ethy alcohol. It's also vegan. Wow. So if you guys want to dye your hair, definitely pick up a bottle of this stuff from Hot Topic. Probably the best hair dye I've ever used, honestly. Anyway, guys, new hair sponsored by Hot Topic. <laughs> okay, let's see what else they sent me. Space is the place. So we have this all black 100% cotton shirt. That's important for this. It's best if this is 100% cotton. I mean, you can do it if it's half polyester, but it turns out a little different. What I'm gonna do with this one is, I think I'm gonna turn it into a bleach spiral tie-dye kind of thing. I think that would look really good. So the first thing you wanna do whenever you do a spiral tie-dye like I'm doing, is go ahead and flip it over. Go ahead and grab yourself a fork. Find about the middle, which is right around here. And then you just poke it like that and just start twisting. I like to flatten it so that uh, you get as much surface area as you can. Pull out your fork. And then you're gonna need some rubber bands. And you just put your rubber bands right on there, just like this. Make sure it's nice and and not fold it over. I'm adding a couple more rubber bands just to make sure everything kind of stays in place. But you can also use this as almost like a divider. That's what a lot of people do. And now we have a perfect little package. The reason I like flipping it over is because whatever side ends up being on the surface ends up having kind of like these uh, more crisp lines. And then the back is gonna be uh, not quite as clean. You know what? Who the heck is staring at your back? You know? That's why uh, the back doesn't really matter that much. Just like haircuts. It's really staring at the back of your head. Now we're gonna get a mixture of 50% bleach, 50% water, put it in a spray bottle, and just spray every other section. I like to flip it over just to really make sure that I'm getting the same side. And then do the opposite side, and already that is starting to change color, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit just to really lighten it up. Okay guys, so this is how our alien shirt turned out. I love it. This is great. So now what you're gonna wanna do to make sure it sets in is grab yourself a nice bucket of hydrogen peroxide. And you're just gonna let this sit in here, kind of mix it up every once in a while. Really make sure to deactivate your bleach. And this can take about 15 minutes, so uh, let it do its thing. And then afterwards, what you're gonna wanna do is run it through your washer and dryer. And this is how it turned out. I'm so happy with this. I definitely think that adding the bleach tie-dye uh, really adds to everything. Like, it's perfect. Honestly, it wouldn't change a thing. I love the blue design of this shirt. This is the greatest combo, honestly. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Let's see how it looks on me. Oh yes. Well, don't need that anymore. I got this way, way cooler shirt now. Look at that. Space is the place. Oh no, I got deodorant on. I shouldn't have worn deodorant this morning. The one time I wear deodorant. Don't worry. We'll just pretend it's part of the shirt. That's part of the design I just did. But overall, I'm really digging this. I think that this looks like something that I would probably wear every single day. Honestly, I'm probably gonna end up wearing all these shirts every single day after this because this turned out really awesome. But anyway, guys, uh, this is a very simple and easy way to really make a shirt yours. And the best part of this is uh, the bleach tie-dye that I made isn't gonna match anyone else's. This is an original. Like the design might be uh, from Hot Topic. Which, by the way, thank you again, Hot Topic, so much for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. But now it's a custom shirt made just for me. And you guys can do this too at home. Isn't that fantastic? Anyway, let's go customize the next shirt. I also got this fun demon kitty thing shirt. I love the artwork. Uh, it looks really good. But the only problem is this is kind of like an off-white, uh, very close to a tan. I want to tie-dye this, but I need it to be a little bit lighter. So what I'm gonna do, put it off to the side, grab yourself a bucket, and fill it three parts water, one part bleach. Always make sure you use gloves, guys. Then we take our shirt and just uh, dunk it in there. And we just have to carefully mix it and stir it, really get all the bleach water into the shirt, and that is already starting to lighten up. So you just keep mixing it up for about 10 minutes until it's completely white. Okay, so it looks like uh, this pinkish color is the lightest we're gonna get it, which I'm not upset with. Like, like, it's a nice little light pink. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and wring that out real good. Remove our bleach bucket. And then we get another bucket and fill this one with hydrogen peroxide. Just completely uh, fill it up as much as you can. Then we dunk it right in. What this does is it neutralizes the bleach and it makes it so that it no longer bleaches it. I don't think we're going to get any whiter than this. Then I'm going to let it sit in here for about 15 minutes. Rinse it out and then uh, run it through the washer. Okay, guys, it helped lighten it up just a little bit. I thought it turned out pink, but it's actually still somewhat of a beige color. It looks very slightly pink to me. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, 
So now that we've done this, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and flip it over. Use a good old fork method. And band it up. Now for this one, I think I'm gonna do mostly pink, mostly purple, because those are two of Tori's favorite colors, and uh, I'm planning on giving this shirt to her. A little bit of pink. It's actually more of a red. But when it washes out, it's definitely gonna turn more pink. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue. I think I need to make it a slightly darker. Here we go. Just a little bit more purpley color. I basically mix the two, the, the pink and blue together. I don't know if I'm happy with that. Okay, I mixed up some colors, and I think I got a good happy medium. I'm gonna let it sit for about half an hour, and then add our color stay. Wrap it up, throw it in the microwave, and uh, I'm excited to see how this bad boy turns out. And here's how the shirt turned out. Wow, I'm actually really happy with all the colors on this, and I really like how it swirls into the middle, and it really puts a lot of focus on our little guy. Okay, uh, let's go give this bad boy to Tori Dabransky. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Yes? I have a gift for you. <gasps> what is it? I got sponsored by Hot Topic, and they sent me a bunch of cool shirts that I got to customize. Cool. Yeah, so uh, uh, I, I got you two of them. Here's the first one. <gasps> it turned out so cute. Oh my goodness. It's a little cat. How cute, Robbie. What did you do? Did you just tie-dye it? I tie-dyed it. Yeah, that's it. I just, wow, I just that's so cool. <laughs> Here, try it on. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. It turned out so cool. I love it. I like the little cat. I like the blue and the pink. It looks so nice together. And now you match my hair. No, and you match my hair. I swear we didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this turned out really good. Oh, it turned out super good, Rob. Good job. Okay, let's go customize some more shirts. Hot Topic also sent me this really awesome uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Jack and Sally shirt. And there's actually a few things I want to do to this. And the first thing is I definitely want to bleach dye it because I think that would look really cool if we kind of had like swirls going all around them. So we're just going to flip it over. True love never dies. And then I want to make sure that I get it right in between them. So I'm going to make sure I do that. Kind of like right here. We have our point. We just use the fork method and start twisting. Go ahead and rubber band it together. Grab our water bleach mixture. Start spraying. Let that soak up and lighten up a little bit. And here is how it turned out. I really like how it all comes into the center and, and really just kind of draws your eye to the middle. So now I'm going to try and fill this in as best as I can. Blank slate just like a coloring book. So for the most part, Jack is just black and white, so I'm probably gonna leave him. And that means I just have to color in Sally, and I think I'm gonna start with her red hair. Okay, so her hair's all done. Now I think I'm gonna fill in her shirt, and then I'm gonna work on her skin. Just fill the rest of her in, really. So her shirt is kind of like this nice purple color. It's kind of unfortunate because it sort of blends in with surrounding pink. So I think for this case, I might go a little bit darker. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. And then her sleeve is kind of like this yellow. I mean, it's not the cleanest work I've ever done. Now I'm gonna work on coloring her in. So she's sort of like this light pastel green color. I think that I did a great job filling this in. I went in with black and kind of redrew some of the details and stuff. Okay guys, now that I'm all done filling this in, there's actually text on the back. And I'm not sure whether I want to go with red for this or green. On one hand, it could look like blood drippies or on the other hand, it could look like slime drippies. I'm gonna go with blood drippies. Just gonna fill this in really quick. Yeah, so this turned out really good. I think the blood splatter was a good call. Okay guys, we're all done customizing it. Let's go give it to Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Yes? Wait, what were you doing in my closet? I was Uh, get over here! I made you another shirt! Do you like it? So basically, I bleach dyed it, and then I colored everything in. This was all white. I also colored in the black red. I wasn't sure whether you wanted red or green. I, I could be either, either or. It could be drippy green, or it could be blood drippies. Here, uh, try it on! Huh. Whoa! I like it! This looks so cool! Whoa! It, it goes great with the rest of your outfit! I know! It looks so fun! Well guys, this one turned out fantastic. Do you like it? I love it! This one's so cool! I'm very interested to see if the paint washes off. Yeah, I don't know how long that'll last. Hopefully it'll last forever. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Okay guys, let's go customize the next shirt. Up next, we got this really cool looking mushroom horse creature thing. I don't know what it is, but I dig it. I think this looks sick. So what I want to do for this one is I want to tie dye the whole thing and then afterwards I'm gonna fill it in with some markers. Now in order to not tie dye any of the whites inside of this, what I'm gonna do is get some plastic wrap, put it over this guy just like this. Go ahead and cut it. 
And then I'm just kind of trying to shape it to this guy, get as close as I can without really touching him. And then I'm gonna get some parchment paper, put it right over it, let me grab an iron, and along the edges, simply melt the plastic wrap to the shirt. You don't wanna do it too much, cause our goal here is not to permanently have the plastic wrap on the shirt, but simply have it on there enough to really make a seal and not get any dye where we don't want. And we have a very lightly protected surface. Now I'm going to carefully put it inside out and do the exact same thing with the back side. Boobity boo, flip it back upside in. Everything seems to be holding together nicely. So now we're gonna get to tie dyeing it. So go ahead and flip it over, grab our fork, go to the center, and just carefully twist our shirt. And make yourself a nice little spiral. And our rubber bands, this looks pretty good. Before I start tie dyeing this, I'm actually going to take my mixtures. This is just general dye. I kind of mixed it with water, and I'm just gonna use this napkin to sort of test the colors out. We got like a nice pink or a nice dark red. That's not, that's pretty good. Wow, that's a really nice dark blue. Yellow is nice and vibrant, and when they kind of mix, they're kind of a nice shade. I have to really try and not get the blue and red mixed together too much. And now, it's time to tie-dye. So, I think I'm gonna start off with my blue. Just be really careful and wait. I forgot a very important step. I need to soak this in water and get it kind of damp. There we go. What that does is makes it easier for the fabric to absorb the dye. Being really careful not to get blue on the other parts. You know, it's gonna happen. I wanna make sure to clean up as I go. The best way to do this is to have Rack and make sure that you don't have it sitting in the dye. Actually, I think I'm gonna break out my oven rack. There we go. You can use your oven rack at home. Now we're gonna do the red, a little bit of yellow. Now we're gonna let this sit for about half an hour. Okay guys, it's about half an hour later. And now we're gonna add this color stay. Just gonna add it to it nice and liberally. Really get it all on there. Flip it over, boobity boo. This will also help the dye not bleed into itself when I wash it. Now we cover it with plastic wrap and shove it in the microwave for about two minutes. Okay guys, it's all done being microwaved and it's time for, oh, that's so hot. Oh my gosh. Oh! Time for the big reveal. Uh, let's run it under some cold water. Just open it right up. I feel like I should have let this cool down a little bit. Oh! That's so hot. Here we go. Nice and cool. Undo our rubber bands. Here we go. Did it work? Did it not die underneath? And the answer is it kind of worked. Okay, it got a little bit spread, but you know what? That's still doable. I kind of like it. It actually looks really cool on some of the mushrooms and stuff. Wow, this turned out awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run it through the washer and dryer all by itself. And now our shirt is all washed. Washed and dry. I'm actually really happy with the colors on this. It really adds to the forest spirit vibe of everything. Now I want to go in with some markers and try and color this in. That's kind of the whole reason I try to keep this whole design as blank as possible. I mean, there are a few spots where it looks really cool. I mean, I'm happy with that mushroom, but I want to go in and really just color this in like a coloring book. Oh wow. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I'm actually so happy with how this turned out. I love the colors and I love how all the little mushrooms turned out. I didn't have a lot of control because this is fabric and it only works so good with markers. But I think that this turned out really, really good. And the colors of the tie-dye really just complement the entire thing. And anyway, let's try this bad boy on. Up, boo bitty boo I didn't intend to do this, but it kind of gives off almost like a little bit of Bob Marley vibes. I got most of the colors in there, a little bit of orange, a little bit of red. But anyway, this shirt turned out very colorful, very vibrant. I tried to pack the rainbow into this shirt and then kind of surround him with rainbow colored mushrooms. Look at this happy little forest spirit, just chilling out, being a mushroom forest spirit. And I love his little red mushroom on his head. Look how cute that thing is. Anyway, let's try this bad boy on. Woo! There we go. Again, this one kind of matches my hair, like very similar vibes. Let me know down in the comments down below, how would you guys have done this one different? And when you're done, buy this shirt and decorate it yourself exactly how you told me. And then you'll have your own custom shirt. If you guys do decide to do that, make sure to tag me in it. I look forward to seeing how they turned out. I really want to see the stuff you guys make. You guys see the stuff I make all the time. Anyway, let's go on to the next shirt. So here we have another magical forest creature. I kind of like how the last one turned out. So I'm going to use the same method on this guy. Carefully flip it inside out. Same thing to the back side. Flip it back inside out. Flip this bad boy over. Good old fork method. Spin, spin. Boop. 
rubber bands, break out our rack. Let's get to tie dyeing. After we make it damp, of course, I always forget that part. And this time, I'm going for more of a pink and blue. I thought this would turn out pink. Oh, it's kind of turning out pink. That's good. And lighten up as it comes out. A little bit of blue. I'm really hoping that this actually turns out pink and not red, because then I would have an America shirt, which is fine. I love America. But you know, I want pink. And it's it for about half an hour. Now we're gonna add the color stay. Be very liberal. Just really add as much as you want. Just kidding. Just be, uh, just do a bunch. Ta da, do it. Wrap it up. And now we're gonna shove it in the microwave. Time for the big reveal. I really hope that this one actually worked. Okay. How are we feeling about this one? Go ahead and pull that off. And this is how it turned out. Dang, I really like the colors on it. I think that it looks like a magical aura around this magical spirit. So now. It's time to color this bad boy in. Let's we'll start off with this mushroom. I already really like the blue that's filling it in, but I think I'm gonna go with a red, just to make it really pop against all the blues and the purple. And then I think I'm gonna give it a very vibrant underside to really make it pop. This purple should do nicely. Let me do more of a lighter purple on the side. There we go, with a bright blue stem. Okay, I did the mushroom. Now I gotta paint all the rest of it. Well, I'm just gonna pretend it's a coloring book and just color everything in. Enjoy this time lapse. Okay guys, and here's how our shirt turned out. I'm actually really proud of this one. I think I spent around three hours coloring this in, and I used a lot of blending together with paper towels and my fingers. My fingers are completely just covered in paint. This is a new medium for me, so I don't really know how to use these markers very well. I don't even know if you're really even supposed to use them on clothing, but I did, and I think it turned out awesome. Will it last? I don't know. I'll just never wear this shirt. Just hang it up on my wall. But just for the sake of this, let's try this bad boy on. Oh yes, a magical mushroom creature. Whoop, don't do that anymore. Yeah guys, I'm actually really happy with how vibrant this shirt turned out. The whole shirt by itself was awesome. And I think that adding color to it really made it even better. Look at that little pink and blue mushroom. It matches my pink and blue hair. The best part is you guys can do the exact same thing. You guys think I should have colored this mushroom pink instead of purple? You guys can buy this exact shirt and do it yourself. Isn't that awesome? You can do that with pretty much any shirt. You can customize anything from Hot Topic. But overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out and I'm really happy with how the tie-dye turned out. And it matches my hair. It turned out absolutely fantastic. So yeah, let's go on to the next shirt, shall we? And up next, we have this awesome Game Boy shirt. So for this one, I think I'm gonna go with kind of like a crinkle method. So you just wanna go in, crinkle it up like this. You can also grab some rubber bands, do little pigtails on it. Doesn't really matter. Just have fun with it. Okay, and now that that's nice and crinkled up, I'm just gonna get our 50% bleach, 50% water mixture, and just randomly spray. I'm trying not to oversaturate this too much, because our goal isn't to just have a completely bleached shirt. We're trying to kind of randomize it. And we flip it over, and do the exact same thing. Oh wow, that's already changing. That looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit, and let the bleach do its thing. Okay guys, and this is how it turned out. I'm actually really happy with this. It all looks really good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and color everything in. And you know, it took me like five shirts, but I got this idea where I can just put a board inside of it. There we go. And now it's nice and stretched out. That way, when I draw on it, I don't have to hold it. I really wish I did this earlier. So I think for the Game Boy part, I'm gonna do a rainbow and then maybe like a rainbow fade on the background. And I'm not sure what color I wanna make the Game Boy yet. I'll figure that out as I go. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, so I'm all done filling this guy in. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I ended up adding some sort of highlights and then I outlined everything in black and I think it really makes everything pop. I might go back later and clean it up a little bit, but it's pretty good for now. So now I guess I'll go on to, I kinda wanna make like a rainbow gradient behind the Game Boy. Okay, so this turned out pretty good. I really like how I did the gradient on this. Some of my lines aren't the cleanest, but you know what? It's fine. Everything looks fantastic. Now, I have a few options of how I want to color this in. I could either go with a gray and outline it like that, because the original Game Boy had gray, or I could reverse rainbow it. I don't know. There's so many different options I could have gone. Oh, I got it. I'm not really using pink on this whole thing, so I'm gonna use pink. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Okay guys, and I think the pink turned out really good. I really like the purple. Now I just have to focus on the screen part right here. I think what I wanna do is make a rainbow swirl making its way outside. Or I could do a rainbow gradient in the background of this. Ugh, again, there's so many different directions I could go with this, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. First things first is I'm gonna need to draw my outline and start my little circle in the middle and then start making little swirlies. There we go, this looks a little better. Now I need to color in my swirly. Let's do a rainbow swirly. Okay guys, and the swirly is done! I think that for drawing on a t-shirt, it turned out pretty good. And overall, the shirt looks awesome. Gonna take out my cutting board. Wow, this is great. Okay guys, time for me to try it on. Oh man, I am so happy with how this turned out. Like if you look at it from far away, it almost looks like a professional made this. But when you get a little closer, it doesn't look as good. But you know what, you go far away, it looks fantastic. But overall, I absolutely love the contrasting, super bright colors on the kind of darker background. And putting the rainbow swirl in the middle was a really good call on my end, at least I think. Well, I'm gonna try it on. A boo bitty boo Wow, look at that. Fantastic. What a good looking shirt, dude. You know, the best part is if you guys want to do this, you absolutely can. You can buy this exact shirt, do everything that I did, and customize it exactly how you want. Like if you want this Game Boy to be blue instead of pink, you could do that. If you want all the stripey things in the background to be red, you can do that. If you want to block out the E and put Gam Boy, you can do that, I, I guess, if you really wanted to. But overall, guys, customizing shirts, definitely the move. I'm probably only gonna wear customized clothing from now on, if I'm being totally honest. I am the craft king, after all. Ooh, okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure I give it a big ol' thumbs up. Oh, some of this fire right down there. Again, thank you so much to Hot Topic for sponsoring this video. You guys can either shop in-store or online at www.hottopic.com. Super happy to be working with them. Never thought I'd be working with Hot Topic. One of my favorite clothing stores, if I'm being totally Totally if you guys like this video, you guys want to watch me try even more life hacks, I actually have an entire playlist where I do that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and also make sure to subscribe to my vlog and clips channel. Okay guys, love you so much, I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay, bye! Ah!